In this video, you will learn how to get most frequent words from a document using NLTK. Instead of Spacey, we will use NLTK for this tutorial. First, we will download our article from Wikipedia using Goose library. Let's import NLTK, import NLTK. Then we will import Goose from Goose 3, import Goose. This will help us to get the text from online. Now I'm going to make one variable URL and in this I will paste the URL from where we want to get the text. Let us go to Google. So in Google I will type let's say data science and then we will go to the Wikipedia and this is the Wikipedia page and from here I will copy the address. Now let's go to Jupyter Notebook in single or double quotes we will paste the URL let's execute our code and if i print url you can see we have this wikipedia page here now i'm going to uh, load the this data science article in an object article i will write article and then i will call this goose 3 and first i will make an object of this goose 3 i will write here g and i will call this class goose 3 i will write goose here and now i will call this object g and from this i will call the method extract and inside this i will pass our url so we want to extract the data from this wikipedia page and we will be using this goose object for that let's execute our code and now if i print this article here so we have this article at this memory location and to get the text from this article we will use the method cleaned underscore text and that will give us the clean text from this wikipedia page i will call article dot cleaned text and here in the output you can see we got the clean text from this data science page on the wikipedia so this is the clean text and now we are going to find the most frequent word from this clean text here and first of all we need to tokenize it we need to break down this sentence into words so let us tokenize it i'll make one variable tokens and from nltk i will call the method tokenize dot and i will call this word tokenize and inside this i will pass our object article and from article we want to get this text and this is present in cleaned underscore text so i have passed here clean text let's execute our code now if i print this variable tokens we will have this tokens here so now you can see that this function word underscore tokenize from this nltk has break down this entire document into tokens that is into each word and you will see here the first word is interdisciplinary second is field third is off, fourth is study, fifth is focus and so on and here also you will see in the output first is interdisciplinary, second is field, third is off, fourth is study and so on. So it has breaking down this document into sentences and now we can find the most frequent words or the most common words and for that we have the function in this NLTK that is the frequency distribution. Now let us make one variable frequency and to get the most frequent word there is a function frequency distribution in NLTK I will call NLTK and from that I will call frequency distribution method and we want to get the frequency of tokens so we have saved in this variable tokens here I will pass here tokens and let, let us execute our code and if I call this frequency here so you will see we are getting the frequency distribution so we have this dictionary here and we are getting the frequency of this most frequent objects or the most frequent words and let us make one variable most underscore common and we will call this frequency variable and then we will call the method most frequent or most common so the method name is most common here in this frequency we have all the words and their frequency but now we are using this function most common to find the most common words 
and let us say we want to find the top 10 words which are most frequent I will pass here 10 and let us print this most common here and here in the output you will see we got the results so it says that the most frequent here is comma it is present 71 times then we have data 57 times then full stop 51 times and you will notice that these full stop comma and we have this bracket here all these are stop words because this is this we have not cleaned it that is why we are getting this comma and this full stop and everything and you know we can always clean this and we if we clean this data we will get a very good output and let's say if instead of 10 I write it 20 so I will get more words here and here you will see we are getting more words so we have this signs 35 times repeating the 33 of 32 but one thing you will notice here that we are not getting a cleaner cleaner version because we are getting a stop words and everything and to see the cleaner version we will make a word cloud of this most frequent words and then you will realize that we are getting the context of this data science page so let us make a word cloud first i will import the word cloud from word cloud import word cloud and we will also import matplotlib to visualize it import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt now i am going to create an object of this class word cloud i will make cloud is equal to word cloud let us execute our code and now i will call this object cloud and in this i will save cloud dot generate we want to generate the word cloud and where we want to generate on this article dot clean text we want to get the word cloud of this article where we have this clean text here so this text on this text we want to generate a word cloud and if you look, look here in this token there you won't be able to uh, you won't be able to say what is the context of this all the document of this entire document you cannot look at this tokens and you cannot tell about the doc the context of this document so it is very difficult to say whether this document belongs to data science or statistics or what form and instead of that because it is not a clean text that is why it is very difficult but the easiest way to find the context of this document is to form a word cloud and if I if we make the word cloud you will see that it is it is telling us the proper context of the word now let us execute our code so we have this cloud here and now let us do plt dot I am show and we will pass this cloud here so if I print this cloud here so you will see we are getting this object work cloud dot work cloud dot work cloud at this memory location and to look or to print this we have to use this matplotlib library and I will print this now and you will see we will get a work cloud here a picture and here in the output you can see we got a picture here so we are now we can you know look at this picture and we can tell the context so it is saying that data data science statistics science etc we can also increase the size of this image because this is a very small size and to increase the size we will use one method that is plt dot figure and inside this i will pass fix size and uh, let's say this is going to be 15 by 15 and then i will write plt dot i am show and inside this i will write cloud here so now you can see we got a very big picture and you can look at the picture and you can say that this document is talking about data science because it is highlighted in very bold words we have data science data failed use statistics science analysis information knowledge 
statistical computer and so on so looking at the word cloud you can say that with confidence that this document is talking about data science and one thing you will notice here that we are getting these numbers here on this axis and we can also remove this number and for that we will just write plt dot axis and inside this i will write off so now you can see we are not getting numbers here on our x and y axis but we are getting numbers here and to remove this number also we will just put one semicolon here the semicolon and if i run this again and now you can see that we got a very clean picture here we don't get any number on the axis or even on the top of this picture this is how you can first tokenize your words and create the most frequent words and you can look at the most frequent words but even if you are not able to understand the context of the document then the next option is to create a word cloud and you can create a word cloud and when you get that you can get the idea about the document what it is talking about and the context and everything this tutorial was about the most frequent words and the word cloud how you can make it using the NLTK library in python i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching